Anna will now show you how to perform a good vision screening. Plus Optics devices are designed to measure refraction of both eyes simultaneously from one meter or just over three feet distance from the child. Anna has properly adjusted the light in the room and distractions have been removed. The Plus Optics S16 vision screener has been turned on. She is ready to bring in the first child. The child is placed in a chair in approximately 4 feet or 1.2 meters distance to the device and is given simple instructions to lessen fears about the measurement. This will be fun. Anna needs to verify the date and time displayed on the header bar is correct. She is now ready to start a measurement. This is the home page. If Anna does not see this page, she simply presses the shutter button on the handle once. The referral criteria are age-based, so it is important to select the correct age of the patient by touching the corresponding section on the timeline. Look for the Go button in the navigation bar. If it is blinking, a new measurement can be started. Hold the device approximately 4 feet or 1.2 meters away from the child. Although the measurement distance is 3.3 feet or 1 meter, a degree of practice is required to estimate this distance. It is easier to hold the measurement device a little further away at the start of a measurement and slowly move it towards the child. The measurement device should be held level and flush with the child's eyes. Instruct the child to look directly at the nose of the smiley face. When screening very young children, Anna will need to stand in the child's line of sight to ensure the nose on the smiley face is directed towards the child's eyes. Babies are best screened while being held over a parent's shoulder. The measurement can be started by pressing the shutter button on the handle or touching the blinking go button in the navigation bar. An attention-grabbing warble sound will emit from the speaker in the Plus Optics device. Watch the screen and move it slightly till you see both pupils centered in the screen. Since Anna is standing too far from the child, she will see white squares around the pupils in a blurred picture and red bars on the left and right side of the screen. As Anna moves forward, the squares will turn to red circles and the picture is in clear focus. Anna needs to continue in that direction until the red circles and the left and right side of the screen begin to turn green. Standing with one leg slightly in front of the other, as if riding a surfboard, allows Anna to easily rock forward or backward as necessary to obtain green circles around each pupil she sees on the screen. Once Anna sees that each pupil is surrounded by a green circle, she needs to pause for just a moment. When this happens, another attention-grabbing warble sound will be emitted. A ping sound indicates the end of the measurement. The screening result as well as the last image of the measurement will appear on the screen. Have a look at video 5 to receive more information about checking the measurement values. Anna, remember to stand with one leg slightly in front of the other as if you're riding a surfboard.